Hi everyone. In this video series, I will demonstrate all features that are available in Flopzilla Pro. This first video will provide a general overview. The videos after this will each deal with a specific feature in much more detail. So in watching this video series, I would recommend to at the very least watch this first video. And if there's any subject that you'd like to know more about, then look for the dedicated video on that subject in the video section of our website. Before I begin with the video, if Flopzilla's interface is too small or too large for you, then you can use Shift plus mouse wheel to zoom in or out. So, let's now take a look at Flopzilla. Flopzilla is software for analyzing Holdem ranges and for equity calculations. To use Flopzilla, simply enter a range and a flop. The statistics section on the right will now show how this range hits this flop. So for example, this range has top pair 11.74% of the time, a set 1.3% of the time, etc. The calculations are extremely fast. Whenever I make any change to the range, the statistics will automatically and immediately update, without the need to push a compute button. Currently the output is in percentages. It's however also possible to show this output in combos. For this, press tab. And now the output is in combos. So for example, there's 81 combos of top pair. To see exactly which combos are in top pair, just mouse over it. And the matrix will show which hands are top pair on this flop. Also when mousing over a statistic, the other statistic will adapt and show their overlap with the statistic that's being moused over. So for example, there's 9 combos that are both top pair and a flush draw. To see the overlap, right click top pair to fix it, and it will now remain fixed if I move my mouse away from it. If I now mouse over flush draw, then we see the hands that are both top pair and a flush draw. Now there are several icons available in the upper left. If you press the filter icon, then the screen will become a bit larger and a pie chart will become available. The pie chart shows which of the combos in the range have a blue filter in front of them. And 414 combos apparently do not pass through one of these filters. Mousing over each section of the pie chart will show exactly which hands are assigned to each filter. It's possible to assign different colors of filters to different statistics. For example, made hands are displayed on top of the statistics section and draws are displayed in green in the second section. I will select a green filter and change the filters there. By pressing my mouse down and mousing over everything that I want to select and draws are now assigned a green filter. In the third section we have combo draws. I will assign this category a purple filter. I will again press my mouse down and mouse over everything that I want to select. The pie chart will now update and show how many combos are in each section. And again, Mousing over each section in the pie chart will let the matrix show which hands are assigned to which filter. If you want to customize the filters for a statistic, then mouse over it, right click to fix it, and in the matrix you can now assign a unique color to individual hands. If you press this button, then the filters will be activated, and only hands with the filter in front of them will be allowed to pass. So the hands that were previously in the grey section are now removed from the range, and the pie chart and the matrix now only show the filtered range. This is also reflected in the matrix by greying out the hands that have been removed from the range. For the purposes of this video, I think that this is enough on the filter system for now. If you want more detail, then please check the dedicated video on this subject on the website. To remove cards from the deck, use the Dead Card section.
If you enter specifically two cards, then this will be considered as a starting hand. And in the lower right, it will show the equity of the range versus this starting hand. However, Flopzilla can also perform range versus range equity calculations for up to 12 players. For this, you will need to switch to multiplayer mode. And you can do so by pressing this button. The window will now change and you can use the plus button to add up to 12 ranges. For this example, I will add one additional range. Output is offered on the right in several different output modes. The default output is the pie chart, which we've already seen. There's also an equity graph that shows the equity for all hands in the selected range. An equity matrix that shows the same equities but in the form of a matrix. And hotness. And hotness shows how the equity for the range will change depending on the next turn or river card that comes off. So currently the equity for the active player is 48.126%. Apparently if the turn card is an ace, then this will increase to roughly 57%. And if the turn card is a 7, then this will drop to about 35%. Now the equity calculations are very fast. Whenever any change is made to the range, the equity calculations will update immediately. Also, if a flop is entered and three ranges are available, then Flopzilla can calculate the exact equities for all three ranges within about half a second of any change being made. And Flopzilla is the only software in existence that can perform these three-way equity calculations this fast. To the best of my knowledge, any other program needs at least a minute for this. Now Flopzilla offers a lot more in the area of equity calculations. For example, another feature is that you can add ranges of players who have folded. I will add a few ranges with the folding range. And set them as being out of the hand. By mousing over their matrix and clicking this that icon. The equity calculations will now adapt and show what the equities would be if we account for the players that have folded. And this is referred to as the bunching effect. Flopzilla can calculate this bunching effect for you for a game with up to 12 players. For more details on equity calculations, it's probably best if you watch the dedicated video on this subject. For links to that video, go to the video section on our website. When it comes to the list of statistics here, it's possible that you want to add some statistics of your own. For example, you may want to see a stat top pair plus flush draw. For this, go to the customize icon. And here you can create any stat that you like. So I will drag top pair and flush draw into the end operator and store it. And now, top pair plus flush draw is added to the list of statistics. There's an entire video dedicated to describe this menu for creating custom stats. So if you want to create custom stats of your own, then just check the video section of lopzella.com. If you don't enter a flop, then the statistics will now show the chance of hitting certain hands, measured over all possible flops that can come off. So for example, if I just enter 10-9 suited, then the chance of hitting a flush draw is 10.94%. And if I enter 8-8, then the chance of hitting a set is 10.78%. If you mouse over one of these preflop statistics, then a much more detailed breakdown for the stats is given. For example, the chance of hitting a full house with 8-8 is 0.98%. If I mouse over the full house stat, then we see that this breaks down in 0.73% chance of hitting a set on a paired board and 0.25% of the flop being trips. We can also again apply colored filters. So if I disable all the filters, 
right click full house to fix this pop-up so that I can move my mouse away from it. And now assign a blue filter to pocket pair with set and a green filter to pocket pair on tripboard. And only filter for hands that have a filter. Then we see that the ratio of set versus trips is 3 to 1. Now this menu for full house is one of the more simple menus. Many of the other statistics have much more detailed breakdowns. For an extensive discussion on breakdowns for preflop stats, watch the dedicated video on preflop calcs on flopzilla.com. If you click on this button, then a flop breakdown tool is offered. It will show you how often certain types of flops occur. For example, there's 22,100 possible flops in total. And 18,304 flops of those are unpaired flops. And of those unpaired flops, 6,864 are unpaired rainbow flops. Again, there's too much detail here to discuss for this introductory video. This entire menu and all of its options are discussed in a separate video on our website. If you enter a range in the matrix and want to store it for later use, then you can do this with Add Range. And your range is now stored to the pre-devs. And you can load it at a later point by double-clicking it. You can also add categories. And move your ranges into these categories by dragging and dropping them. And if I click on this arrow icon, then more options will become available and I can, for example, apply different colored groups to a range. And I can even create a mix of groups by dragging the desired group colors into this bar at the bottom of the menu. If I store this grouped range to the pre-devs, then you can look at the composition of the entire range by mousing over it. Or look at the individual groups. For more detail on all features related to storing your ranges into the pre-dev menu, see the video on our website on the pre-dev menu. One icon that I haven't discussed yet is the options icon. I won't go over it here, but we have made a short video that will go over all these options. And there's also a video that goes over all the options in the menu here. Just in case there's any option in the menu of which you'd like to know more. Finally, Flopzilla Pro can also connect to our GTO solver, GTO Plus. I have just opened GTO Plus over here. And one of the things that it can do is export its active ranges to Flopzilla. I will just export the ranges from TTO Plus to Flopzilla Pro. Let me switch back to Flopzilla Pro. And Flopzilla has now received the ranges that were active in GTO Plus. Now GTO Plus is of course its own software. If you'd like a brief demonstration, please watch the 10 minute video on our website on GTO Plus. It will go over all the basics of what you can do with our GTO solver. So, That's it for this general overview. If there's any subject in this video that you'd like to know more about, then just look for the corresponding video in the video section of lopzilla.com. For now, I hope that you enjoyed this video.